some of those individuals that live in this neighborhood that are older than I lived through the process of urban renewal in the 60s where right where we stand, sit here all this were there were residential homes they leveled 125 acres moved out uh, it demoed over 3,000 structures and over 20,000 people were moved out. Now, this neighborhood has not recovered since then. Columbus Mayor Michael Coleman encouraged the creation of a master plan to transform the near east side of Columbus by the year 2016. In response, Partners Achieving Community Transformation was created in 2010 to enhance the quality of life by focusing on five core areas jobs and economic impact, safe, vibrant, and accessible neighborhoods, health and wellness, education, and housing. We're going to make a difference. We're going to make our voice heard so that everyone knows that there, there is some concern in the neighborhood from the residents. So far, Ohio State University has invested $10 million into the redevelopment of the area. So what I'm very concerned about is that OSU is not only giving some of Poindexter Village's land for free, we're subsidizing it. And I would love that it really meets the ends that federal paperwork says it's to do, but if we're not part of that decision-making process, we can't have any guarantee that this isn't more than a land grab for a large developer. So OSU held a, a town forum, a town hall, March 12th, and that is where uh, Reggie had said, 60 to 45 days from now, we'll issue the RFP, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Point Dexter Village is 26 to 27 acres, historically important, qualifies two out of four criteria to be a national historic landmark. <coughs> also March 12th, um, PACT, and specifically CMHA, did respond to our plea of somewhere in here, you'll see a 106 assessment should be done, 106 historical assessment should be done. And CMHA's response to that is even if it is historic, all we have to do is take a picture. Myself, I've been through some, in something called the Tenement Museum in New York City, and um, it was a very rich experience for me to walk through and see where waves of European immigrants moved to this country and their stories there. I could not have gotten that experience in a photograph. This is a living, breathing, historical, ethnic, identifiable neighborhood. A neighborhood that has always been um, a mixed neighborhood, predominantly African American from the 20s on. It has always been able to be self Sustaining. We're going to have a protest in front of CMHA urging them not to issue the RFP for total demolition of all residential buildings. One of my complaints was that we have this speech bubble that PACT has put out, a word cloud, and the word village was on there, but you didn't see Poindexter. So I scanned these documents, and I never found the word village remaining by itself, but I did see Poindexter village at least 15 times. So they say we said village, I say we said Poindexter village in these community conversations. We want a binding contract that ensures things like a local hiring provision, family sustaining wages and benefits, and preserving historic housing. We're not just complaining. We are complaining with solutions, I promise. So um, first priority is to make sure this RFP does not get this request for proposal of total demolition of the residential buildings does not go out, and if it does, it's a blatant disrespect to the entire process so far. I feel very firmly about that. We, we, everyone, you need to be leery of anyone, regardless of their color, when they say, I'm here to get along with you. One will exploit the other, that's human nature. The only way two human beings can coexist is only when they have respect for each other. And once you disrespect our position, then we have a problem. And they are constantly disrespecting us, and then they come to us, oh, why are you upset? Let's be nice, let's get along. Well, you want me to get along so you can continue to exploit me and my community. And that's the issue.